Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of integer operations. This is standard 6.3D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 25 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four different equations, and three of them are true, and we are simply looking for the one that is not true. Let's excuse our dear Aunt Sally. We're going to make sure we use our PEMDAS. So parentheses always comes first. If we have those exponents, I always like to say that multiplication and division can be done together in either order, and I show that by drawing little lines here. Multiplication and division are inverse operations, which means even though multiplication comes before division and are little mnemonic, if you see division first, you can do that first. Same with addition and subtraction. They are inverse operations. So if you see subtraction first, can we left to right? Feel free to do that first. But we've got these tiers, parentheses first, exponent second, multiplication and division third, then addition subtraction fourth. Now, some of us might be thinking that this right here represents a parentheses. And actually, what this is doing is this is just separating our addition and subtraction. There's no operation within that parentheses. A true parentheses is going to be something like this, negative 3 plus 8, something like that. So there's going to be an operation within this parentheses that you're going to need to simplify first. In all of these parentheses here, they're simply using the parentheses to separate them. And in some cases, they're actually representing multiplication. So we'll, let's look into that. Let's look at this first one. A, negative 4 plus negative 3 equals negative 7. Well, this plus negative right here, we need to know that if you have a plus and a minus, and that's always going to result in a negative. So if you have two different, like a plus or minus, or a minus or a plus, doesn't matter which one comes first, it's always going to result in a negative here. And all this parentheses is doing is just keeping those separate. Because if it you didn't have the parentheses, it's going to look like this. Negative 4 plus minus 3. That looks kind of strange. So that's why we have the parentheses. It just kind of keeps those separate. So we do have a plus and a minus next to each other, and so that's just going to make an, a minus. So negative 4 minus 3 equals negative 7. And when you have two negatives, when you have a negative and you, you're going to minus something else, that kind of acts just like addition. So negative 4 minus 3 is going to be negative 7, and that, that one works, and you can kind of uh, just say that one it works, which means we don't need it. Let's look at this next one. Negative 8, 2, negative 16 equals negative 16. So this is simply separating the minus 8 and the 2, and that is going to represent, since there's no operation in between there, it's actually going to represent this. It's going to look like negative 8 times 2. You can do that. Equals negative 16. This is actually a positive 2 because we don't have a negative there. So 8 times 2 is going to be 16. A negative and a positive, remember, makes a negative. So look what we have. We have negative 16 and negative 16, which means B doesn't work. Let's look at C. I'm just going to put that right here. 3 minus negative 2 equals 5. And this is why we have the parentheses here. Minus minus 2 doesn't really work. So this is simply a subtraction here, but if a plus and a minus makes a minus, a minus and a minus actually makes a plus. That's the weird thing. So 3, this right here, turns into a positive. 2 equals 5. Yeah, 5 and 5. So that works. So let's hope it's D. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 equals negative 4. Well, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Oh, we've got a minus and a minus. Remember, that makes a positive. So that's positive 4 equals negative 4. That doesn't work. Our answer is D.